Hey everyone, Steve the Miner here. Welcome to the first video of a 10 part series called How to Find Crystals, Gemstones, and Precious Metals. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to use internet sources to see exactly what minerals are in the area you intend to prospect and how to do a more refined search to get to exactly what you're looking for. MindApp.org is usually the first place I start. It'll tell you what minerals have been found in an area and if there are any active or inactive mines. Knowing what minerals are in the ground will give you a great idea of what kind of crystals or precious metals you can find. For today's exercise, I chose a location I've already done some research on here in Orange County, California by my house. In Orange County, 44 mineral species have been listed. Um, if you scroll further down in the page, you can actually see the locations of where these are found. So if you click on a name, um, Muscovite was found here, for example. Um, the location I chose for today is Lucas Canyon. It's listed as being in Coto de Casa, but it's actually off the Ortega Highway. So it's, it probably is around Coto but I wouldn't say it's a part of it. So um, Lucas Canyon, there's no minerals listed. There's no entries listed. It just has on the map here, it has this little gem and you can click satellite to get a better sense that this is just like on a mountain range. This is uh, actually the location of a mine, a gold mine that used to be there. And I found that out through doing some research. Like I said, the minerals aren't listed for Lucas Canyon. So I did a, a Google search for uh, Lucas Canyon San Juan Capistrano. And I got all sorts of links for like uh, stories about gold miners and hikers who talk about the old gold mine and just all sorts of information. So it uh, made it like a real likely prospect. I really wanted to get out there and dig. Uh, I couldn't, unfortunately, and we'll get to that in the next part, but um, it, it does have a history. It's exactly what you're looking for. Like if you're on MindDat trying to find um, minerals in a location, you get that location and there's a mineral list and then you can do Google searches and find uh, people who have found these minerals, who've taken pictures of these minerals, even mark the locations on satellites. I've, I've got GPS coordinates uh, for old uh, quarries and mines and stuff. So this is, this is kind of like the entry into uh, what you need to do next. You found that there's minerals in a location and now you need to see if it's okay to prospect there. Now that we've determined that there has been gold found in Lucas Canyon, the next step is to see if it's okay to prospect there, to see if it's legal. The Bureau of Land Management uh, is in charge of uh, public lands. So if you want um, anything from like gas, natural gas or oil rights or mineral rights to a land, you would go to the Bureau of Land Management and uh, you pay about $200 and you get the rights for a year and then you're first in line for the next year so no one can buy it out from you. Uh, you, you can pay each year to own the rights to this land and you have to upkeep the land a little bit um, improve the land, I believe it's called. Uh, so this is the next step. You know there's something there, now you need to know if you can be there. So the Bureau of Land Management has a really old website. It's not very user friendly and I don't na even navigate on the website. I just do Google searches for things I know I need on the site because it'll uh, get me a link right to what I need to go to. So if you just Google LR2000 like you saw me do, you're going to go to this page, scroll down, and you just click this little uh, square. 
it's a map shows you the United States and then um, if you can see my mouse over here I'm gonna go right between Los Angeles and San Diego that'll roughly get me to San Juan Capistrano so let's see here's the 74 Here's Lucas Canyon Road. Comes right off the 74. Um, this is about where we saw uh, the little mineral on mine at. So uh, what we can see here is that it's in a green area. It's Ronald Casper's Wilderness Park. It's a state park, so they're gonna frown upon you coming in and taking old mining artifacts and looking for gold nuggets and stuff. So uh, that's my warning to you. I'm just gonna move the camera. It's this uh, LR2000 is as easy as clicking this one button right here, mining claims. And unfortunately right now, a uh, pop-up comes up saying it doesn't work. And this is dated back uh, to 2011. That's when they updated it, May 13th. So this is just incredibly old. They're trying to have people uh, uh, contact their local office to get the info, like uh, who's got what claim in your area, things of that nature. But normally um, on this screen, uh, especially if it wasn't a, a wilderness park and a, a nature preserve right here, this is the San Mateo Wilderness, you would have these squares that appear. And then some of them are going to be red, some are just going to be the same color as this uh, background here. So uh, the red ones are claimed, you cannot claim it, and the clear ones are open. So if, it's, if you mark on a GPS where you're going to be prospecting, and it's open, and it, they're going to give you uh, 20 acres, which is a nice uh, big area, so if you intend to prospect on a spot, um, you can mineral collect on your way there as long as you mark uh, on a GPS or a map where you can start collecting, where you're going to be on that uh, open 20 acres. That's, that's pretty much it for the LR2000. It's very simple and I believe when you can uh, click that mining claims button, I believe it just has something uh, that hot links you right to where you could buy it. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't used it in a while. It's been down for quite a bit. But yeah, that's the basics. Once you know it's cool to prospect in a location, the next thing I do is a Google search. I'm looking for first-hand experience of people who have found crystals or minerals in that location, and if they took pictures, it's that much better. Some of the best information I've got about Lucas Canyon actually comes from a hiking blog. Hikers aren't going to be as secretive as prospectors. They're going to just say what they see. Um, they've talked about equipment that's been left behind, the openings of the old mine shafts, the size of the nuggets that have been found in the canyon. And those are all very useful bits of information that you may not learn from a prospector or prospecting website. For this exercise, we're going to pretend that Lucas Canyon is a place you can go prospect. So the next step I'm going to take is I'm going to go check it out on Google Earth. It's really great for checking like hiking trails, any kind of geological features that may be of interest. Like here uh, we see a granite quarry. I know that because I've done research on this. And they're actually a live quarry. They blast and take big slabs of granite out. There's not much you can see here besides uh, Lucas Canyon Road, which uh, comes right off the 74 highway. So that's a possible hiking trail. I know it's dirt, so uh, be a pretty decent hiking trail. And then sometimes there's cool pictures. I don't know if any of these pictures are gonna show anything. 
yeah, nothing you can really see. But it just gives you an idea of uh, what kind of terrain you're going to be going through. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't look like it'd be a lot of fun once you get off that trail. So, um, that's about all I can get from this right now. Uh, besides marking mineral locations and uh, just uh, plotting where you're going to park, things like that. Google Earth is really great for that. And then uh, every time you go hunting or find a new location to hunt, you can mark it and just kind of look at uh, the mountain ranges and just see what kind of colors are going on and just kind of go on like a little tour through it and imagine what kind of uh, things happen to make these mountains form. Why are gemstones coming out of them in these spots? Or why is a precious metal like gold coming out in this spot? You can uh, begin asking yourself these questions and um, just slowly answer them by uh, doing this research. I hope you found these tips useful. Please stay tuned for the next video where I tell you how to prepare for the prospect the night before and the morning of. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos, and if you want up-to-date mining action, follow me on Instagram, at SteveIsTheMiner. Thank you.